It's Stacy here from craftaholicmama.blogspot.com and today I wanted to show you a project that I made for my daughter's teachers. I did have some help with this from a very dear friend, Teresa, the owner of Scrapping for Less. She helped me design and create this project so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. Um, I made boxes to hold these mini card kits and here I'm showing you that I used the paper from Doodlebug Spring Things and I used some Doodle Pops and the little bees to decorate it and the two labels on top are Spellbinders labels number 1 and number 17 and then I also used the Doodlebug at the Zoo collection to do the other two boxes and use the Koala Bear Doodle Pops. The thank you stamp I believe is from Pretty Pink Posh that was from my stash and the boxes turned out totally cute I just um, scored them up and taped them together and I used 120 pound cardstock to make them good and sturdy so what's in here is we came up with the idea to do a mini card kit where everything is ready for the teachers including goodies to put the cards together and inside the envelopes are all the pieces to make a card and I'll show those at the end here I included a sheet of the happy birthday stickers from Doodle Doodlebug and they will get a tape runner from AdTech like I said everything you need um, I included some adhesive foam squares and some stickers for the back of their cards so they can sign their cards these are just from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby um, some glue dots so they can glue down their ribbon and their googly eyes if they choose to use googly eyes. I just included a bunch of little glue dots and some extra eyes and um, bling. They're, they are in the envelopes but I want to include some extras in case they lose them plus a couple extra bows if they want to do extra decorating. And then I also included some clips that are from the coordinating collections of uh, the Doodlebug Cute Clips. So everything fits in this little box. And everything they need to make a card. The only thing that they might need is a pair of scissors. But even then I don't think they'll need it because everything's done for them. All they have to do is glue and tape their cards together. Now I'm going to show you, I made, or Teresa made 16 cards and the, she designed all 16 of them they're all different and each box gets four cards and she took a picture of the card so that the person knew what to look how to do it and they're they're simple designs they're just layering different panels of pattern paper but everything is already pre-cut pre-measured and ready to go and sorted and stuck in the card base and perfect ready to go this was such a cute idea. The teachers went absolutely crazy for these little boxes. They were so excited. They loved the idea that everything was ready to go and so easy and all they had to do was follow a picture and it just totally made my day. Anytime I get to uh, bring someone over to the side of crafting, it just makes my heart feel warm. I'm only going to show you a couple of the cards. At the ends, I do have pictures of what all the cards look like. This one has the little elephant. And we use the 6x6 paper from each of the collections and, and icon stickers. So here, everybody gets four cards. Like I said, and they're all different. Two sets were at the zoo and two sets were spring things. Everything was purchased at Scrapping for Less, and I'll have that link down in the description. However, the only thing that I didn't get was the couple of items at Hobby Lobby or the stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh. Everything else was purchased through Teresa. 
Now here are the still shots. Enjoy and thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> oh,